person should be very sensitive to know that my liver is failing. For example, if I'm on chronic drugs, like if I'm on chronic ARBs, and that is known, you will see that they always try to, to test the liver on a regular basis, maybe every six months. If I'm on cancer drugs for any other cancer, we know those cancer drugs are toxic. You will see that they will be measuring this liver function to be sure that the drugs are not doing damage to the liver as they are trying to destroy it, something. If you have hepatitis B, they diagnose you with hepatitis B. Now, that is not a death sentence, but you keep monitoring the liver to be sure that the hepatitis is not injuring. So, those are the cases where someone who has... So, you can't come from nowhere as a normal person walking and say, test my liver. No, we always look at those things. Are you on ARBs? Are you in a cancer treatment? Do you have hepatitis B already with you? You know, things like that. Once you have hepatitis B, whether you're on ARVs, because also the ARVs you're on for the rest of your life once you get hepatitis B, you always have to do what? To survive, like maybe once a year or once in, or twice a year, you do your liver function test and a test for cancer, which we call alpha fetoprotein. Because you just want to detect these problems as early as possible and, and correct them quickly. Then you wait when you are so sick. Uh, because when the liver before becomes very sick, all the other organs start also fading. So we don't want the liver to fall sick so much. So if you have hepatitis B, you always have to do surveillance of your liver function. So that you de de detect these problems as soon as possible and correct them.